most of the people, when they make an image of photography, they use a camera, right? But for this project, I was wondering if it's possible to make an image looks like a photography without using a camera. If you're a photographer, you use this camera, and it's your own eyes who take this image in front of you. But in this project, I just mixed all the images from vintage postcards, also found photography, and also I just searched image on Google, Google image, and I don't know who took those images, when they took those images. So I just collected them, and also I used Google Street Map, which is, there's no photographer, it's just a machine taking photography. The very start of this project was these small drawings, which I saw in my dream. Mostly I dreamed about those images. So, yeah, this is my note <laughs> as the heavens. <laughs> so I just, you know, there's an image like this, and uh, I just, I, w I wake up and um, I just note. I just need to, this is my camera actually. <laughs> so this is how I remember. Why is black and white and it's kind of rainy and really heavy mood? Because I was creating this project, it was in Lille. Well, it was really horrible, <laughs> honestly, because I could not speak French at the time. So it was really hard to communicate with people in Japan. In our society, something personal we don't show them. So I rarely see those found photographers, but in France, there were a lot, a lot of them, and also postcards. And if you turn the postcards, there's a words, really intimate kind of words, but you can buy it for one euro. And I thought, ah, that's funny because in this way, I can meet people. For this exhibition, I show this collage part, how I made this image, so people know, okay, this is not a photography, it's just a collage. It was a collage and now it looks like a photography. I, I really wanted to force you to see each images because, you know, more you see, more you find some details and you try to lead something from those strange black and white photographies you just get lost because you don't know what you are looking at and so actually this book is all about that because if you you're in a bookstore and you only have let's say five minutes and you need to really hurry to select your book so mostly people do how they see images is like this. But in this book, if you do this, you won't see any image. There's no photography. You cannot see any <laughs> images. Every time you need to open, because you really thin paper, so carefully open it, and there's an image. And next page, you need to, again, open it to see what I did. And now you can try to think how I did. Thank you.